If you're new to the channel, I'm your very own music producing friend who's going to try to teach you very little about music. Hello there, my name is Surf and Brain, and today I'm going to teach you how to layer leads like this guy. Have this guitar coming, filtering it. So it kind of builds, builds throughout the chorus. My friends, remember when you were in elementary school and the teacher put a bunch of gingerbread cookies in front of you and told you to build a house? And you were like, how the hell do I do that? Oh, today's not going to be like that because I'm going to show you how to layer leads perfectly like Kaiko. Here we have a nice, chill, tropical melody. I'll let you guys listen to it. So yeah, very chill and very tropical, and I'm going to break this down layer by layer. So in the first layer we have sort of like these um, really chill bells, Just take a listen. So this is sort of like this, kind of, kind of almost the main texture of the sound, and that is followed by sort of, uh, let me, let's just, just listen to it. So this is like really plucky, right? This is like a sine pluck in a way. And this is filling up another register of the tone of the entire melody. This is like sort of in that mid-range. This is a lot more transient, right? It's a lot more body to it. There's a lot more, this is quite a powerful force in, in, the, in terms of the melody, right? It's a, quite a powerful force. Next, glockenspiel. Now this is up in the, oh crap. So now this glockenspiel is filling up the higher register. So what we've seen in this four melodies so far is the, the two bell sounds, right? This one and this one. That's really making up the body of the sound so far. And, and the glockenspiel, that's in the higher register. And that's also, that's quite transient. And that's, so, that's more subtle. It's like you can feel it, but you can't hear it. It's, it's that kind of sound. All right, now moving on, we have Cold Winter. And this sound is an octave below everything. So that's sort of to fill up the body of the sound and sort of give it that two octave feel. And that's the purpose of that sound being placed one octave below. Next, we have a, a longer sound, right? Everything before this was decaying really fast. Now this is a bit longer and that fills up the melody to make it seem like it's kind of, it has like a mixture of uh, plucks and slightly longer sustained sounds. So it feels like it has a different vibe to it in a way. All right, next we have this. Again, that's a bell sound, but it has a lot of resonance and sort of like this bit crushed feel. So it, it gives those harmonics in the upper register, which adds to the tonal quality of the sound. Finally, we have the portamento lead, if you will. And this sort of gives that glidey feel to the sound. And if you listen to everything together now, and if you listen carefully, you can, you can hear almost every sound that I showed you within the entire uh, combined sound. And what I've done here is basically, if we go back to that gingerbread house analogy, you know, the frosting holds the house together, holds the gingerbread together. And so what holds our melody together in each individual layer? That's EQ. I'm going to show you what I did here. So over here, I've taken out some mid-range, upper mid-range around 1K. I've taken out some high end to let that glockenspiel really breathe and uh, have a space of its own. Over here, I've taken out, I've bandpassed the entire thing, see? I bandpass it just to, to have that lower sort of register shine through because it's an octave lower than everything else, right? It's a lower sound and that's its purpose. I'm trying to find out the best purpose of this sound and use it to the best of its abilities. And I don't know why I high passed it over here, honestly. So I, I low passed it. So I band passed it to get the lows in the high pass it. And, but I see what I was doing. I was trying to boost the mid range here and the highs were already cut. so. The highs are being cut by the EQ3 as well. So basically we're really shaping the sound to make that mid-range stick out in the lower octave. 
Over here, similar thing, mid-range cut around 1K. Uh, upper range cut, just to let the high end breathe, just to let the mid-range really live in the sound, because this is a bell sound. And that's why we have the mid-range going here, and we're cutting out the highs. But we have the highs breathing in the Glock, because the Glock, that's what the Glock is supposed to do. As I said, like, 50 times already, but that's very important. So, let your Glocks breathe, friends. Let your Glocks breathe. Bring them outside and take them for a walk. I hope you get the point. <laughs> um, basically, you need to find the essence of each sound and really use, I would suggest using EQ because with compression, you really can't get every frequency range unless you're using multi band compression or something like that. And I'm rambling, I think. Well, my friends, we've made it to the end of the video. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button, because we're going to be making more content like this. And I'll catch you guys next time. Surfing Squad out.